Now for networking. This is done. This is done. <laughs> okay. Now designing the protocol to send data over UDP Ethernet and getting preliminary PPS code written. The PPS takes asynchronous key strike event data and converts it into cool piano sounds. Also designing how to efficiently stream data at high rates for hammer motion analytics, debugging, and a few other ideas that I have. I found it interesting to compare this diagram to my original from 2000. <laughs> no, to 2020. <laughs> okay. The ADC and support circuitry, these microprocessors correspond to either the TPS or RPS. This became the PPS. The shared bus is the topic of today's video. The HPS board. I did not anticipate a separate computer for analytics. Might as well draw in the keys, the actions, the shanks, and the hammers. There can never be too many arrows in a good engineering drawing. Back to the design. In a previous video, I noted that sending streaming hammer data caused excessive latency. So I plan to address that with the new protocol. So far, my testing has looked something like this. My goal now is getting all of these pieces in place. And that includes testing both a Teensy and a Raspberry connected to the network simultaneously. I will continue using the RD2000 for generating sound and will send data via multicast for now to both the PPS and my desktop computer. With a test like this, I will feel confident my design can scale to the complete system. <laughs> I kind of like this animation. Here is the software design. Samples of hammer motion are sent via SPI to the TPS or the RPS. For hammer strikes, my firmware sends a single event packet over Ethernet. That's very low network traffic. This drives, for example, a MIDI output from the PPS. For sending hammer samples, first I optionally downsample to help with network load if needed. From there, I built a circular buffer and only stream samples when a piano key is depressed. Here are hammer samples from the HD. When the hammer position crosses a threshold, the TNC sends this, this, and this. My computer software reconstructs the original waveform. The packet details are on my GitHub repo. I call it the Piano Network Protocol because I thought PMP was kind of cool. Next is writing firmware and software. This is C++ code for the TPS or RPS, it's the same code, to send packets. Then Python code on the PPS Raspberry and my desktop computer to decode packets. Python on my desktop computer to write sample packets to files, which I'm using as a cache database. MATLAB for now on the desktop computer to parse the files and generate streaming plots. And finally, Python code for on the PPS to send MIDI signals to the RD2000. Eventually, once the hardware is all finished, software will be the bulk of the work. Here is the test setup. The TPS connects via ethernet to the switch and to four HPS. The PPS or the RPS connects similarly except to different four HPS, an ethernet switch and the piano processing system. <laughs> this is the PPS is Python code I wrote on a Raspberry Pi 4B. This device processes event packets and sends MIDI signals to my RD2000. Finally, my desktop computer where I'm running MATLAB code to process, store, and plot hammer sample packets. Before I start the test, I need to mention one change I made to the eight channel analog board. Here is the original ECA on the TPS board. This physical arrangement made sense to me when I designed the ECA. However, when I looked at the ECA attached to the Raspberry, it projects out way too far. So I redid the PCB layout to rotate the board 180 degrees and resize it to fit within the Raspberry footprint. Here they are side by side. <laughs> this, no, okay. This also means I need to redo the TPS, but for now I'm using ECA 0.0, .0 with the TPS and ECA 0.1 with the RPS. Okay, let's run some tests.
The responsiveness and performance works great, even when sending both streaming and event data over the Ethernet. It is fun to surf through all this raw data, and when I connect this system to the piano action, I get gigabytes of really interesting physical hammer dynamic data. I'm sending data from the RPS at 500 samples per second and data from the TPS at 1,000 samples per second. Note, this is not the ADC rate. This is the rate I downsampled to for the network. Here is the raw data 24-bit. If I try to stream network data at 8,000 samples per second, the network can't handle it. So 8,000 or above is great for recording single hammer strikes, but it's not gonna work for general playing. 